What are we going to get tonight? What is this race going to throw our way? Last month was a historic race. Henry Bucky taking the win there. I'm not sure we're going to see a sub-14 tonight looking at the field, but certainly a sub-15. We've got 30 men who have sub-15 minutes already coming into this race. So 14.30 or even faster would be what we're looking for today. And the atmosphere here on this straight is always something special. So men get after it. And uh, speaking to race organiser, Keith, and uh, he always said, people go off too fast on this course. You need something for that second lap. That's where it gets oh, ugly. Lap, That's where you, uh, you, know, you want to cover those moves. And if you, if you spent through that first kilometre, obviously, you don't end up having much left. So a few names to look out for. Tuare Menges, talented half marathon runner. And uh, there's a few marathon men in here as well. <laughs> Henry Hart, how about him? 5K this week, I'm told, and 100K next, putting on the Scottish vest. But boy, can he still run over 5K, 14.30 odd, his lifetime best as well. So I had to hire a vest up at the front wheel ID a few of these men early on. Now's the, uh, now's the time to do it. Things sort of calm down on this far side through the bandstand already. And that's John Coulter. who's leading in that Harrow trip to Audi Mega's in there as well. James Beek's due to be here tonight. I can't see him. That is a Basingstoke mid hands vest, but it's not Beek's. He's just on that, just in no man's land a little bit, looking what, looking to uh, get onto this fun group. Oxford student, Nafali Moulton as well. Looking smooth. Right where he needs to be at the moment, sitting in five. So already a slight breakaway group in this race. As these men mean business, they're going to want a time inside sort of 14.30. They just got to watch themselves on this turn, sharpest turn on the course. And they come out unscathed as things start to stretch along now again. Avoiding pedestrians as they go. That's what this race is famous for. Stick to the center. It's a slight camber as well. So they're toward him and get. And like I said, got a 63 half marathon to his name and doesn't enjoy it across country too much, but get him on the roads, get him on this hard surface. And that's where he comes into his own and he doesn't hang around either. He'll push the pace on early, Will to early. But Beek's just left on his own a little bit in that chase group too. And uh, Roger Pullman, who was one of the quickest men in this race. I can't seem to see him at the moment. The man from Highgate, former 1350 lifetime best. Doesn't seem to be near the front of this race. So we've got two Basingstoke and mid-hands athletes that I'll try and identify. Naftali Moulton, the Oxford student, to Ardi Menges on the right there. In the red, in the, in the Maidstone vest. And that's just what you want, actually, early on in a 5K. A group of sort of seven, eight men, is it? Seven men. And just sort of easing away from the rest of the field. And Callum Tharn as well. Number 89, the Scotsman, Campbell Slank. Mark Pollard coaching him. 14.25 in Armagh just a few weeks ago. So he's proven the kind of shape he's in. So things just breaking up. These guys are going to have to work together over the course of this next lap. Not to let any kind of gaps open up. It's an Ashford vest as well. That Wagatha zero. 45th for those UK in the counties just last year. Ashford man just hanging on to the back of this group. 1437 lifetime best. And guess where it was set, ladies and gentlemen? Right here in Battersea Park. A lot of PBs. I love to see the ratio of PBs over the 5k on the road because I think a large number of them are set in this historic and famous park. Beak's looking good. He's a 344 man over 1500. Great range if he can hold on to this group and run anywhere near 1430. So, fast start. We'll start checking. We'll try and keep an eye on those splits as the race unfolds. See what that... Uh, first lap is we know 
really. It needs to be sort of around about 16.45 for that first lap. 6.45, sorry. If they're to, uh, to get near that sort of 14.30 mark. So that is Callum Tharn there in the red as well. So Tuwadi, Menges and Tharn, two athletes in the red. Menges wears 60 on his bib and straight to the front, pushing on, just like we'd probably expect. Post, Half Watch marathon, he's done a lot of them as well. 10Ks on the road, experienced on the road, endurance man by trade. And he's not gonna be frightened at a bit of work up front, is he to all day? And this is where things start to open up in this course. They pick their line, easy to hug. That's the 2K marker. And we'll see what they can close up this final 3K. They would have done 3K reps time and time again whilst training for this 5,000. And uh, watch out for Thumb on the inside there. Because, uh, well, he's got a wise old coach in Mark Pollard. He's done a lot for Scottish athletics development in his time as well. And uh, over in Armagh, he's used to racing and he's used to racing hard. Here's Captain Thart. And they beat them tough up in Scotland. But uh, so here we are, it's men's elite race. We're coming up to lap one done. I said to a few people, a few laptops closed at five o'clock. Couple of strong black coffees down them. Maybe a bit of fuel and straight under the lights here. Friday night in Battersea, it's what it's all about. Pure racing. So this pack of four is now a pack of five as well. I'm town, Henry Hart, world 100K specialist, loves an ultra, can do it over 5K as well. Bounding along there in the all white at Belgrave. That might be the away strip, but he's very much at home here today. Four, looking to push on down as we approach the bandstand. And like I said, we'll get some more spits. They're currently operating. In my garment stands true, around about 4.45 mile pace. We know 4.40s is going to be inside that 14.35. So some big lifetime vests on route today. Henry's operating around that lifetime vest territory. He knows his part more than anyone. There he is, the man in the white. You can't miss him. He's judging it to absolute perfection. So this group of five are well away from the rest. Beaks in no man's land in sixth. On his own a little bit, but sticking to his task. And he might finish hard as well, James Beaks. Like I said, he's probably the fastest in this field over 1,500. I'm not even sure there's a problem about it. It's a definitely. That yellow and red, famous Ben Patterson. World bronze medalist over the 800. So. Just identify it. Another Basingstoke mid hands athlete, number 87. He's uh, operating near his maximum. Harry Smith. Moving very, very well, but Callum Tharm, Tuade Mengus, so not much changing. These gentlemen are just feeling each other out at this point in the race. They're all abreast, they're looking for that best line. Like I said, there is a slight canvas here. In Battersea Park, it's good to stick to the middle. But how much can you save on these turns as well? Well, a few of them there are, but that's what you kind of make your move. That's where you suss out how other people are riding, other people are racing. And they can respond to those surges. So, a long time leader from Harrow, just setting back into the pack as well. Well, Tuade Menges, Boucher, Henry Hart as well as they swamp the pedestrians. Look at that. Nothing quite like an Elite 5000 race in the Fantasy Park. Caledon as well from Scotland. I've made a hash of his club. Canvas Lang Harriers. That's it, Canvas Lang Harriers, Boucher. Thank you very much. Oh, you could throw a blanket over these five right now. Menges, the stronger of the bunch. Well, the fastest half marathon of the bunch. What's he going to do over this final lap? As he just drifts wide, avoiding the trees as well. 
Henry Hart looks very good. We're going to get an absolute dust up over this last couple of kilometers. It's going to be a hell of a sprint finish if these men stay like this. This is where the race usually breaks up here at Fantasy Park. You'll know it better than I do. You've watched a few of these, I'm sure you have at home. And if you're enjoying it, we got another one back here in just a month's time, 19th of April. Don't miss it, get your entries in. I can almost guarantee you a personal best. Not quite, but there is a lot of personal best set on this park. Henry Hart getting a lot of support out here. And it is Harry Smith, I believe. Wearing that Basingstoke vest, lifetime best of 14.45. He's gonna be very, very close to that right now. And they've upped the pace, ladies and gentlemen. They're hovering around about that 14.30 mark. And that order of sight excited a few of them as they've been five abreast like they have for so much of this race. Hart hanging in there. Smith on the outside, Callum Thorne as well. And Menges just buying his time up at the front. He's been dead center all race long. He's had the clear line. He's been able to sight the road ahead. And there is something in that in 5,000 running, especially under the glow of Battersea Park. To have a clear road and just decide when you want to make your move. Jonathan Collier of uh, Harrow AC, he sits on the inside. I can't help you there, Bush. So Collier, Menges, Smith, Tharm and Hart. Tharm and Hart not going away at the moment, sitting in fourth and fifth. Your top three. How about this for an advert of podium of Friday night under the lights? Keith and Ben will be fuming. I've dropped in the, uh, the race rivals. But these lads just composing their self. We're into our coming up to that final kilometer. Well, in fact, we're inside that final kilometer. This is reps they do on the track around about 5K base. It's hurting, but look at this. They're stride for stride. They're not even giving each other an inch. No one started their kick yet. They're just assessing. They're gonna to have to be very careful through the barriers and the posts up here. Just make sure they've got a clean line. Smith on the outside, that long stride. Long flowing hair as well. Evan Jager-esque. Smith in the yellow. So things just started to break up. Henry R, questions are being asked of him in fifth place. Rocking that white Belgrave singlet. Callum Tharm as well, side check the watch, no time to check your watch here. Under lights of Battersea Bar, but they picked it up again, these gentlemen. Operating inside, 440 mile pace as we speak. This is the closing finish. Will speed prevail, or will endurance win here? Menges, Smith, Collier in there, hanging on for third. I feel like those minor places might change around a little bit. Top spot may even do the same. All of them inside PB territory. And Menges looking the most relaxed of the bunch, but Smith, you look at his tall, rangy stride. Can he eat up the ground that final 100 meters or so? The Scotsman on the outside as well. He's featuring again. Bided his time on that back straight. Wasn't forcing the pace. If anything, was hanging on through that period of the race as well. So much could change in 5,000 meter running. It always does. And here goes Smith, the bait is stuck in mid-hands. Opening up, 13.43 on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna be very, very close to that 14.30 marker. He looks very good at the moment. Opening up, look at the stride on him. Got a thumb as well, the Scotsman. He's gonna give chase, he's gonna hunt down his lifetime best. Menges hanging on in third. So, Smith, Gallum. Menges, oh my goodness, look at Henry Hart coming back into the picture as well. Collier, the race leader, sits in fifth, but it's all about that man. Doing it for the red and gold of Basingstoke AC. He's gonna win comfortably. Look at the time of the clock, ladies and gentlemen, 14.22 for Smith. Tharm is second, 25. Oh, look at that. Hart comes through for third. He wasn't gonna lose out on the medals on his turf where he trains, his land. Beaks running well. 14.41, good solid time for him. Here come the Highgate Harriers as well. Few of them fighting for those 12 stage places. 
Later on this winter, Natalie Moulton dips inside 15 2. Good solid run from him. Yes, Sammy did it. And in they come. 15 minutes. Did we quite get 30 men sub 15? I'm not so sure. But we got great racing anyway on a cool, damp evening here in Battersea Park. And this is what it's about. Friends, family members, training partners all out cheering on as well. An advert for pure racing. And we will see you back here in four weeks' time, ladies and gentlemen. For now, enjoy it. Danny Wallace coming through. Follow his comeback. Ollie Smith as well, 15.30. Spot your friends, I certainly am. Look at some of the sprint finishes out here.